Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hello, tech fans, and welcome back to another Into Tomorrow update brought to you by Newegg.com. I'm Dave Graveline, feeling a little red this week. No, I'm not embarrassed, just got a little too much sun this weekend. Wait until you see Rob. He tans just passing a light bulb. I hate him. Anyway, we're finally just back in our Miami studios after reporting around the world from several remote broadcasts, including IFA in Berlin, Germany, Cedia in Atlanta, gifts for the digital holidays from New York City, the Intel Developer Forum in San Francisco, and we're not finished. Stay tuned for our highlights this week from CTIA Wireless IT and Entertainment in San Diego, California. We've got the latest in mobile news for you, so don't miss a beat by connecting with us at Graveline.com if you're not already here. Some of us recently cruised to Mexico and then discovered that we had taken 900 pictures during a four-day trip. We wanted to create a slideshow to share with our friends and family, but 900 pictures is a bit cumbersome. So how do you handle that? Rob has a product that just might make things a little more manageable and fun for you. Here's this week's Product Spotlight with Rob. You're exactly right, Dave. While there are computers that come with their own photo slideshow features these days, not all can publish a file to upload to YouTube or to transfer to your iPod or PSP. Honest Tech has made it simple for us with their new Photo Box. That's a USB device solution that supports the creation of multimedia slideshows from pictures, videos, music, and narration. It's a plug-and-play device, meaning that the software is already built into it. It's very easy to use. Connect the USB device and insert the SD card. The PhotoBox program is then launched. You then have the option to create movies in easy mode for beginners, or advanced mode, which allows for more customized features. You can select from several themes, whatever fits the occasion best. The final step is to convert your slideshow to DVD or other formats, including WMV, MP4, video for iPod or PSP, and others. With the advanced mode, you can edit pictures directly on PhotoBox. For instance, you can add various effects to them or crop and remove red eye. You can also add fun titles, background music, and narration. While the software is easy to use, we found it to be a little slow when it was time to publish our movie. Not sure if it was because I had so many pictures or if my laptop was too slow. I tried it with less pictures and compressed the file a little bit, and it seemed to have sped up the process. Overall, PhotoBox does make slideshow creation simple to do, especially when you have many pictures to deal with from a recent trip. PhotoBox is available now from Honest Tech for PCs only for about 80 bucks. I'm going to upload my movie to YouTube now, so let's send it over to Dave. Thanks, Rob. That looks pretty cool and simple. Honest Tech's products usually are very easy to use. You've heard us talk on our weekly radio show about their other popular items like VHS to DVD and audio recorder, among others. This ITTV Into Tomorrow TV update is brought to you by Newegg.com. Buy and save on electronics today. Visit Newegg.com now for jaw-dropping savings on close to 40,000 tech products. Once you know, you Newegg. Do you remember when telephones were first available on airplanes? Chris Graveline has the answer for you on This Week in Tech History. Chris? This week in 1968, the U.S. launched Apollo 7. Described by Commander Walter M. Shearer Jr. as a magnificent flying machine, Apollo 7 traveled some 4.5 million miles in orbit around the Earth to become the first manned flight in NASA's lunar landing program. The mission also featured the first live TV transmission from a spacecraft in orbit. In 1994 this week, Netscape Communications Corporation announced that it was offering its new Netscape Navigator free to users via the Internet. The Internet browser was available for free downloading by individual, academic, and research users. And this week in 1984, public telephones flew on 20 flights for those who had credit cards. Costs for the air phone service was $7.50 for a three-minute call, $1.25 for each additional minute anywhere you wanted to call in the U.S. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Take it away, Pop. Well, thank you, son. Have you called our Ask Dave hotline lately? We've been on the road for several weeks, but still welcome your calls anytime, 24-7, at your convenience. We'll be answering your calls again this weekend on our radio program. 
So pick up the phone and join us right now with your consumer electronics questions. 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. You can also Skype us from anywhere in the world. Here's a fun question for you. If technology could do anything for you, what would it be? Call us now and share your thoughts. 1-800-899-INTO. Thanks for joining us into tomorrow. We'll be waiting for you next week right here. Meantime, TTYL.